Holy Spirit, have me, Holy Spirit, have me. Thank you, Jesus. We shall Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We shall come Holy Spirit, have your will. Holy Spirit, have your will. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Evangelist Kimberly brings. God bless you for joining the life. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please can you like this video and share it? Yes, Lord. Let's worship the Lord. I was great. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good evening. Welcome to the program Epikaizo Power Hour. Once again, my name is Apostle Father Emmanuel Okan from Ghana. I welcome all of you. Once again, welcome, Atta. God bless you, Diamond. God bless you, Kimberly. God bless you, Ren Ellis. God bless everyone that is here to make an impact in their life. And tonight is another night with the episode 36. We are here to share the word of God. And I believe that your life will be blessed. When you come on this live, please kindly like and share. Kindly like and share. Kindly like and share. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Indeed, we say you are God. Father, we have come here to share your word. To your word, I pray that may you deliver your children. Let them have spiritual insight about you and understand everything. And when they stand and they pray in case any principalities, any rulers, any cosmic powers, they'll be able to defeat them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you all viewers. Tonight is part two. Yesterday, we treated on a topic evil spirits feeding on souls but today is an a, a sequel to yesterday's own that is with the topic demons feed on negativity 
demons feed on negativity so please demons feed on negativity as you are here kindly like and share invite friends also to join and their life will never be the same yesterday we understood that evil spirits are fallen angels they are fallen angels when the Asian dragon Satan took one third of the angels of heaven in Revelation chapter 12 verse 3 and verse 7 to 8 the Bible says that Archangel Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and they were defeated and the devil was sacked from heaven to the earth so the Bible makers understood that when the devil was coming he came with one third of the angels so they, they are the fallen angels if you read the Bible in Jude chapter 1 verse 6 the Bible says that the angels that left their proper estate their proper residence was bind in chain for everlasting to judgment day so we have to understand that demons are the same as fallen angels they are the same as evil spirit they are the same as unclean spirit and yesterday i made you understood that god can even use demons or evil spirit to 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 accomplish something for his kingdom and in, in if you read the bible in first somewhere chapter 16 god used an evil spirit to torment king saul so we have to understand that but this time we have to get it clear that evil spirit, evil spirit, even believed that God is there and there is God. If you read the Bible in Mark chapter 5, verse 1 to 13, when Jesus Christ crossed the lake of the region of Gerasenes, he met a mad man at the tomb, and the mad man was with chains. But the Bible says that he saw Jesus Christ coming from afar and he said, Son of God, Son of the Most High God, swear to God that you will not torture me. So meaning that they know that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Most High God and there is a living God. We give glory and honor to God. Now, tonight, evil spirit or demons feed on negativity. When I say negativity, negativity is anything that is contrary to, 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 to the will of God. I mean, you becoming disobedient to God. You've, you've, you've I mean, abandoned yourself. You are in a, in a way of finding yourself that you are on the path of negativity. So you've been um, having negative thought. Eh? The demon can feed on it, believers. The demon can feed on it. And listen, we have to understand that this earth, this earth is a dimension of existence and has within it fold various other dimensions. Some, some perceivable, some not. The entire creation is interdependent in which humans are supposed to be at the top. Hallelujah. But are we at the top? That is the question. Are we at the top? It's a little complex to understand it. And it was not easy for people or a Christian to understand spiritual things on this earth. The Holy Spirit will only help you to get a clarification on a lot of things. Evil spirit or demon feed on negativity. How, how, how can that be possible? Let me shock you. Do you know that when you complain as a believer, when you complain about your situation, the evil spirit comes to feed on it. And that makes our father angry. Do you know that? No, you don't know that. Do you know that when, when you are murmuring, Eh? You've, you've, you've allowed the evil spirit to come and feed on it when you are in pain when you feel so grief in your heart the evil spirit will feed on it and they are the same 
entities that will cause all these kind of things to happen to you and they will come and feed on that do you know that when you you, you have a negative thought about someone a negative thought about me a negative thought about your friend a negative thought about your husband your, your wife your fiance your business partner you've you've, you've Open a door for a demons and evil spirit to come into your life. And when they come, don't feed on that. We will get there. So, as we are here today, we are going to deal with demons that feed on negativity. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds true. Christ Jesus, say Amen. So believers, since the decline of the early church, most of God's people have not understood how to find peace for their mind, the devil has made a way, a provision, that in any way they will try to torment believers. No matter what. And in fact, many have concluded that having peace of mind is an impossibility. So they are just grateful for the peace in their souls. And in this last hour, the Lord wants his children to have a great peace in their minds as well as their souls. Children of God, evil spirits feed on the mind which is the soul as i explained yesterday that the soul is the mind is the will is the desire is the emotions and i also explained that the soul also is a person because the bible says that when god formed adam from the ground adam received the breath from God and he became a living soul a living soul so indirectly a soul is a person and I, I make you understood that a soul means life so going around all this thing when your soul your mind your will your life you the person in all are always in the in the place of thinking evil against someone or planning something which is not right before God, you open door for demons to come and feed on that negativity. And when the demons come to feed on that negativity, it will go back to you. It looks like you've thrown um, a ball. You bounce a ball on the wall and it comes back to you again. Are you here with me? So, the evil spirit feed on the mind which is the soul and a violent battle is raging around us 24 hours a day or 24 hours per day no matter you are you are a, a prayer warrior whoever you are you are apostle whatever what just give your name title just give your name any position and eh? there is a violent battle that is raging around us 24 hours per day. So the Bible says that in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, the Bible says that for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, for pulling down strongholds, for pulling down strongholds. If you read verse 3, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You see the struggle that you are going through. The kind of negative thinking you have against someone is not from you. It is from the devil. Because the devil want to, I mean, to pull down what God has invested in you. So the Bible says that in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 says that casting down argument and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So the devil 
is casting down what God has invested your imagination, your good thought, your good thinking, bringing it down and fighting against the knowledge of God. When the Bible talks of the knowledge of God, what you have learned, what you have read in the Bible is the knowledge of God. And the Bible continues and said that bringing every thought into captivity, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. What do you think about me? What do you think about someone? Sometimes you meet someone that you, you feel that you are well connected to that person. But another friend, another relative, another brother or sister will influence you. And there, the influence is an arrow of the enemy with a negative influence. For you not to get connected to that person or for you not to help that person or for you not to be friends with that person or for you not to work with that person, there is the problem. So the devil, demons, they bring every thought into captivity. Tonight, what thought has the enemy brought into captivity? The enemy has brought your good thought into captivity. So whilst you have good relationship with someone, the devil will come in and use certain things, arrow into your mind to have a negative thought. If not that, why can in the beginning, let me use this for example, you met a, a woman or you met a man, you, 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 you decided to live together, to marry together and live happily life. But gradually, then there is violence, there is abuse, there is issues, problems coming at all, all, all angles in the relationship, in the marriage. In the business partnership what is the cause because of there is a demon that is causing that thing so evil spirit evil spirit what they do is that the, the demons picks on the weakest link in the family and enters a man or a woman through a weakness through food, through drink, through sex, through a, 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 a sens sensory pleasure. He ensures this person meets a, 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 a human who could pollute him through all of these vices. So demons and evil spirits or demons or evil spirit convince the person that this human is an excellent person. Vision are shown. Slowly trust is built up. So when the two become uh, uh, become very close, the demon slowly start to distance the friend from the person by showing him or her as a devil in visions or by whispering negative things about him or her who can tell me that he or she has never experienced this before as i'm talking to you now you've experienced this today do you, do you understand so that is the demon feeding on what negativity and when such happen and you are able to abide with what they want you strengthen them you strengthen their kingdom it looks like and a car without a battery eh? but the moment a car with a car without a battery and and there's a shortage of water in the water tank so the 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 the, the, the car may, may may have battery now but without water the water ha huh, without water in the car the car will not move such as it is that the demons will try to bring every good person in your life down and they'll feed on their negativity they will influence you and they'll feed on it 
and there a conflict develops the evil spirit or the demons feed on these and gain at gain power gain strength the person and the friends become weaker believer when the person goes home he carries with him a vice and a negative emotion so this immediately creates a clash in the family as well argument starts alcohol is introduced fight begins the demon or the evil spirit becomes stronger stronger and stronger he now start controlling the brains of the family members slowly he whispers in the years negative things about each other distract is built egos clashes fight increase as does the negativity in the house so more than negativity more than negativity more food for evil spirit or demon demons feed on this and become strong the family on the other hand becomes weak believers there are certain things that is going on in christian in in, in a christian life but they don't know their ignorance and there's no revelation for them and such as when you give them this revelation they think that no they cannot bear it but it's better to tell you the ugly truth than to lie to you the family members meet more negative people outside new friends drinking about fight emotional tumor unhappiness unfulfillment chasing the unwell trusting corrupt leaders and resulting to black magic chasing money without not caring for each other becoming intolerant you see so the evil spirit or the demon get more food and become so strong that it now controls more household societies countries leading to utter chaos and family destruction praise the lord are you here with me believers and also when demons are feeding on negativity with that not entering into the bodies of human they can stand outside three days ago i made a teachings about the legal right of demons those that have not listened go back and listen to that sermon and you understand certain things you see they enter the bodies of humans and animals demons are able to enter and control both humans and animals don't you know that if you read the bible in mark chapter 5 verse 8 11 and 12 the bible says that for he had said to him come out of the man you unclean spirit now there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding so he gave them permission and the unclean spirit came out and entered the swine and the head numbering about 2,000 rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drawn into the sea so these demons entered pigs after previously inhabiting humans take your Bible very well in Matthew chapter 12 verse 43 44 45 the bible says that when a demon or unclean spirit is cast out of a man how did this evil spirit enter into a man yesterday i received a, a message a text from someone through facebook messenger and the person said yes man of god you are speaking the truth but the demons cannot enter into believers 
I understand that demons cannot enter into believers. So far as you have accepted Jesus Christ as your own and personal Savior. But when you do contrary to the word of God, to the law of God, to the commandment, when you smoke or you commit adultery, you adorn yourself with evil things. You adorn yourself with evil things and, and rings and, and chains on the ankles, putting and um, setting things on your tongue, wearing high lashes, all these things makes a way for demons to come and feed on you, you as a believer. Check your Bible very well. I am not here to destroy any someone business or to, to make someone business collapse, but I'm here as a man of God to, 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 to make things right and put things right. Don't be offended. Yes, don't be offended. Read the Bible very well. When Jezebel made up her mind to kill Jehu, the Bible says that she painted her face. What paint did she use to paint her face? It is not a building paint. She didn't use a building paint. She didn't use oil paint. But she used a makeup paint. There are a lot of names that we, we know. Uh, uh, there's one called Masaka, whatever. They used to conceal their face. You adorn yourself with things that God did not create you with it. You adorn yourself with that. And you are okay that demons shouldn't attack you. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, because when you have done yourself with things God did not create you with them, they come to you. Believers. So, what I'm trying to say is that demons can feed on certain things that are negative and give them away. You commit adultery. You commit fornication. You drink hard alcohol. You smoke you deal with drugs. Just name them. You masturbate. You play with your clitoris. You masturbate. Homosexual gay. And you are expecting that demon should not come. Whatever that you do is contrary to God. It's from the devil. So you are telling the devil that you are interested in his rules and regulation. So you sit down with the devil to, to have a transaction. A lot of people are having transaction with the devil, but they don't know. Lack of knowledge. My people are dying. Lack of knowledge. Our brothers and sisters, some of our brothers and sisters are dying in the Lord. But it, it is not the cause of God. And listen, in some instance, more than one demon entered into the same victim. As with the case of the demonic man in the in the in, in Gedarene, they were uh, there, there were a number of demons inhabiting those men. Believers, let's look at the testimony of Mary Magdalene in Luke chapter 8, verse 2. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Believers, believers, evil spirits are active every time, every hour. They move to and fro, monitoring everything. And in the kingdom, they have huge harming of spirit that are free to move the world over both the innocent and evil ones the kings and the heroes the queens and the princess and the prince the slaves and the masters the poor and the rich the old and the young Believers, and even including obedient servants, they check on souls 
of each individual citizen and monitors conduct. Listen to my word. And they monitor your conduct and behaviors and how mindful one is to pass the cultural norms to their offspring. When you are there, as a person, as a human being, and you don't have respect for anyone, you've allowed demon to feed on that. When you don't respect your husband, when you don't respect your wife, when you don't respect your brother, your children, you've, you've, you've opened a wild, a wide um, door for your enemy to come. And you've opened a door for a wild demon to enter into you. Believers, my name is Apostle Father Imano Oka, and nothing but the truth. And this is spiritual things. When you don't have the spirit of God in you, you will never understand the spirituality. Now, evil spirits or demons also inspect and control events and lives in the life of communities and guide them the, 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 the people that they have already deployed. My brother and my sister, when evil spirit want to punish someone who is disobedient, they send the evil ones. Evil spirit cannot make people suffer alone, but they can only humiliate a person if he disobeyed the orders of the creator. So the punishment they give may be include mental illness or madness. One may not be able to take a shower or any medication. One may not be able allowed to sleep on bed or to stay at home. One may keep hearing the voice of a person or a person he knows they are dead long time ago. Spirit can even order you to commit suicide. A person who disobeyed the law of God can also be destroyed. And one thing is that I mentioned of inflict mental diseases. Yes, they must have the ability to inflict mental diseases. One of the Gadarini demonics was described as follows in, in, in Mark chapter 5, verse 4 to 5, says that, for he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he tore apart and the shackles he broke in pieces, but no one has strength to subdue him night and day among the tombs on the mountains he was always hauling and bruising himself with stones believers anyone that you see sleeping under a big bridge by the roadside who looks like it's not normal it's a cause of demons and they are feeding on it and they are the same demons that cause but it is you that you make a way for them. They are capable of imposing physical diseases. We can find demons inflicting in, 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 in people's life. Witness. Demons have the ability to keep someone from using their powers of speech. When the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowd were amazed and said, 
Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. Check your Bible. Matthew chapter 9, verse 33. Check your Bible. So, so there are demons that can fight against people, that can feed on even people's tongue, not to talk. Because of that, a lot of people are shy to walk in the street to evangelize, to preach the gospel, to say something about Christ to others. But they have this kind of demons that has powers on their speech. If you are not able to go outside to preach the gospel, to tell someone that Christ loves you, then knows that you are under attack. Then there is a demon that is feeding on your tongue. There is a demon that is feeding on your speech. Believers, according to Jesus, a woman had a physical deformity that was caused by a spirit. That was caused by a spirit. Luke chapter 13 verse 11. The Bible says that, and just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand upright. Let me give you the revelation here. The Greek word for 18 is chai or chi, C-H-I, which means life, which means life. And the 18 was the 18 was the day, was the year this woman was able to receive a soul back, a life back from day one to 17 years. A life has been bent over or was not able to stand upright. What about you? Is your ministry standing upright? Is your life so upright? Is your marriage so upright? No, because there is a demon that is feeding on you. And everything has bent. Those that who those that normally have garden at their backyard, any plant that couldn't receive plenty of water on the rainy season, and when there is a sun rays on that day, you see that the plants will burn up the head like this. So such it is. That when you don't receive the power from Jesus, the resurrection in life, your life will never be upright. Check your ministry. Your ministry has bent over. Your marriage has bent over. Your business has bent over. Nothing is straightened up. There's no life in your ministry there's no life in your marriage there's no life in your business and you yourself there's no life in you because your soul and your life in your entire body has bent down i've been saying this always that don't think that money is everything money is not everything christ is everything i believe that this woman Maybe she, she, she had a lot of money, but she couldn't strengthen herself. It was Christ. Look for Christ so that he can, he can make you stand upright. If not that, your life will be turned over. Demons will take charge, will occupy it. anything that will give you life. So the Bible says that he then emphasized this woman was suffering because of what? Because of who? This woman was suffering because of who? Because of who? Because of who? Satan. 
Check your Bible. Luke chapter 13, verse 16. The Bible says that, And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, ah, underline the word, the, the phrase, a daughter of Abraham. A daughter of Abraham means that she is among of the hearts of Abraham. She is among of the covenant. As we always sometimes pray that um, um, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. When some anyone that prays that is trying to tell God that the covenant that he had with Abraham, he should remember him. So Jesus Christ was remembering God of the covenant whom Satan bound for 18 years, long years, but set free from this on the Sabbath day. There are people in your life, they will use community laws, setting, setting laws, family laws to bound you so that you cannot expel, excel. Your greatness will not be seen. Your excellence will not be seen. Do not allow you to multiply because in the family they have said that you must not marry. You must not travel. You don't have to have your happiness because every family has a law. I'll, I'll come to that next week. The law in your family. Every family has a law. That This law is that the ladies, the generation to come, those that will be at the age of from 30 to 50 years, when they get to 30 years, their marriage will collapse. God bless you, Ren Ellis. Demons, they use their powers to cause people blind. Blindness can also be a side effect of demonic activity and they'll feed on your blindness. They'll feed on your blindness. They will cause sorrow in your in your marriage. They will cause sorrow in your life. Sometimes you'll be sitting down and you, you, you feel like crying. You have this kind of emotion to cry. It is not the cause of God. It's the cause of demons. It's the cause of demons. Sometimes you feel like you feel so worried. And someone will ask you, what is wrong with you? You don't know. You don't know how to explain. Let me, let me say this and say this again. It is a cause of demon. And they will feed on it. Believers, demons can affect both the physical and the spiritual nature of person at the same time. You need to take caution. There are many possible causes for physical diseases. Most times it is as simple as being exposed to to some virus bacteria or the simple breakdown of, of human body. So we have to understand this also that sometimes sickness is a judgment of God for sin. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill and some have died. So ultimately, we do not know why someone is sick therefore we should not assume that it is the judgment of god or activity of demons so put this in mind i want you to like this video and share it and let your friend also be blessed believers demons feed on negativities they are the cause of erratic behavior did I get the word correct? They are the cause of erratic, e -double -R -A -T -I -C, behavior. We find the influence of demons causing people to behave strangely. The Bible says that in Matthew chapter 17, verse 15 to 80, the Bible says that, and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic. And he suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus answered, You faithless and perceived generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. 
and Jesus rebuke the demon. Jesus rebuke the demon. Tonight, I rebuke any demon in your life. Tonight, I rebuke any demon in your marriage. Tonight, I rebuke any demon in your in your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that, and it came out of him, and the boy was killed instantly. There is erratic behavior. Sometimes you give birth to a child and all of a sudden when the child starts growing, you, you see certain attitude, looks like his mind is not okay, looks like, I mean, something is wrong. No, they are the cause of demons and they feed on it. Hallelujah. Demons also harm unbelievers. Scripture gives us example of unbelievers being harmed by demons because the Bible says that then some itinerant Jewish exorcists try to use the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, I adore you by Jesus, whom Paul claimed. Seven sons of a Jewish high priest named Skeva were doing this, but the evil, evil spirit said to them in reply, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? So then the man with the evil spirit leaped on them, mastered them, and all so they were being overpowered by the demon and they fled away. Believers, Demon, their main target is unbelievers. Do you know who unbelievers are? Hmm? Unbelievers are people that go to church, but their belief in the law is not fully, and they do contrary um, to, to, the, to the law of God. Like, you go to church, but all the day you drink, you smoke, you fornicate. Those people are the unbelievers, and that is the interest of demons. And they come to feed on you tonight. What do you think the devil has fed on you? There are so many ways that you can protect yourself and you can stay away from them. So, the influence of demons or the, the feeding from demons is seen in numbers of things which you do, which we do. They can enter into peoples and animals, inflict mental and physical in, um, infirmities, cause people to behave erratically and even deceive and tarnishes though their powers are far or is far reaching it can only exercise within limit so i'm not saying demons are power they are not powerful demons are not powerful than me demons are not powerful than you each and every day each and every day i cast demons out of people today Today, it has been raining, but after the raining, I went out, I went to my, to my Baba, after my brain, people, uh, um, one man and woman called me, they want to see me, and it was like, there is a demon that is tormenting the woman because of a one mistake she made. She said to herself, that I will not marry the man again. But later, she went and lied down with the man. If he said you don't marry the man, why must you go back and lie with the man? And there, she opened doors for demons to feed on her. So the demons are dealing with her in the spiritual realms. And before they will come, in the spiritual realms, they were judging her. There is a demonic court in the spiritual realms. There is a court. There is a judicia. As you see, normal court on this earth, 
someone will cause problem to another one the person will report to the police and the person will be arrested here and there as you all know the same thing is happening to the one so she in the spiritual realms when she came she was in court and demons are questioning her if she said that she will not marry the man again why did she went back and lie with her because she stood at a place at the junction and she said this out of her mouth no one was there no one was there so when she came and asked her woman you said something early january that you will not marry your husband again but after that in two weeks time you went there on the valentine day you went there and you enjoy yourself you had sex since then your life have never been the same she said yes yes man of god i remember i remember i remember i remember i said that is the cause because what we said the evil spirit the demons have have accepted it and they are working know how to talk when you are angry don't say anything because the demons can even use your words to fight against you they'll feed on your words when you are angry exercise patience because the fire that is coming out from you can create anything else and let me tell you every blessed day demons are working 247 me i've been seeing them always i don't know about you I've been seeing them always. As I'm talking to you now, doing this life, there are demons that are hanging around, monitoring what I am doing. But I'm being covered by the blood of Jesus. Do you know the kind of demon that is feeding on you? There is a demon called Lilith. She only feeds on children. And especially a pregnant woman. And there's a demon called Asmodos. He only feed on marriages. So there you see separation. You, you, you see divorce, misunderstanding, abuse. There is a demon called Mammon. That demon feed on business because that demon will not make you rich and the reason why that spirit will not make you rich is that they will not let your business to progress so that when when you are down with finances you you turn back to the world you turn back to the world and you'll be doing certain things meaning that you are strengthening them believers tonight i don't know what you are going through i don't know the kind of demon that is feeding on you but i believe that we are coming to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Shakabra Loshu Kudobu. Risha Kadaraba Zikadebo Rikabra Liza Kadabe. Risha Kadaraba Zikadebe Rikabru. Risha Kadaraba Zikadabe. Risha Kadaraba Zikadaba Rikabra. Roshu Kudobu Zikadebe Rikabra Liza Debe. Roshu Kudobu Zikadaba Likaro. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any kind of demon that is feeding on your soul, on your mind, Father, we come against it, pulling down the thought of men and the, the, the knowledge of God. We bring them down in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Risha Kabra Lesha Kadaraba Zukurubu. Risha Kadaraba Zikadaraba Zikabre. Risha Kadaraba Zikadaraba Zikadaraba. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Risha Kadaraba Zukurubu, Rikabri, Liza Kadaba, Rikadaba, Risha Kadaraba Zukurubu, Rikabra, Risha Kadaraba Zikadaba, Rikabra, Risha Kadaraba Zikadaba, Risha Kadaba. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying, we are telling God that anyone in your family, it can be your father, your mother, your brother, your son, who is sick, who also have mental illness we are telling god that may the spirit of healing may the spirit of god that heals enter into your family enter into anyone's life so that the person should receive healing in the name of jesus christ Open your mouth and pray. Risha Kadaraba Zukudu. Risha Kadaraba Zikadabe Rikabra. Lusu Kudu Zikadabe. Risha Kadaraba Zikadabe Rikabra. Risha Kadaraba Zukudu. Risha Kadaraba Zikadabe. 
Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Risha Kadarabazu Kurubu, Risha Kadarabazu Kurubu, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Believers, our last prayer, we are telling God that may He give us the power, the love, and the mercies always for us to have self control. So that the devil cannot feed on our mind, cannot control us. And any devil or any evil that will try to enter into us, to feed on us, we come against them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. She kadaraba zukorobo rikabra. Lisa kadaraba zikadaraba rikabra. Lusu kurudobo zikadaraba rikabra. Risha kadaraba zikadaraba. Risha kadaraba zukorobo rikabra. Lusu kurudobo zikadaraba. Holy go fire. Holy go fire, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. We thank God for your life. I thank God for your life. I pray for you that may your soul be redeemed from any prison, from any curse in the name of Jesus. Any ancestral powers, any evil spirit that your soul has been assigned to torment you, to destroy you, I destroy them by the blood of Jesus Christ. I call forth thunder and lightning from above to crush any demonic powers that is at your doorstep, that is at your workplace, that is in your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring you out from this kind of demons in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Spirit cast out that demons in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that may blessings, peace, joy be in your life. Anything that your hand touches may be blessing. If the devil has touches your finances, I take it back to you. If the devil has touches your marriage, I take it back to you. If the devil has touches your happiness, may you receive it in the name of Jesus. May you receive happiness. May you receive joy. May you receive financial breakthrough. May you receive restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your mind is, if it's in the gutter, in the in the, in the, in the dungeon, I will remove it back to you in the name of Jesus. May the angels of the Lord that are assigned into my ministry visit you day and night in the name of Jesus. Any demonic dreams, I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any opportunity that is coming in the life of your children, in the life, may you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining the Facebook Live. I appreciate your time and I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, if you want to support the ministry, if you want to support the ministry, you can contact me on my Facebook Messenger. I have my cash app on the video description. If you have been blessed with this powerful message, with this powerful spiritual insight, and you want more understanding, you can contact me on my Facebook Messenger. I have my um, WhatsApp number under this video description. You can contact me plus 233-2028-100003. I'll respond to you quickly. And also, if you want to partner with us to support the vision to support Apostle Father Emmanuel Okan from Ghana. The door is open to you all. And not to forget, if you need counseling, prayers, come to me and I will help you. I don't take money. I don't take money. I don't take money. If you want to sow a seed, that's one fine. If you want to give offering, fine but i am not those men of god some of the men of god that you contact and they will tell you give money before i pray for you also a seed or um, something like that by force no if i talk to you and the lord directs me to tell you to sow a seed i will tell you if the lord have not said anything i will not say anything but if i say sow a seed i know the reason why so just put that in your mind but you can support the vision god bless you and god keep you see you tomorrow saturday have a wonderful weekend today is friday
stay home with your family, read the Bible, pray, and enjoy the rest of your day. No fight, no violence. Peace, love, power, and self-control. Shalom. Bye.